All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. We're here at 353 East, 500 North in Tooele, doing a sewer scope. We've got the camera pushed out a little shy of 100 feet. And this is as far as I'm able to push my camera. Once I go through a couple tight turns, it gets harder and harder to push my camera out. But we're going to pull it back from here and record it and see what we find. So there is part of the line that we're not able to see since we're not able to reach the this very end of the line. It looks like you have a clean out here is what it looks like to me. It looks like you have daylight coming through the line. Um and and the fact that you have daylight coming through it means that you probably don't have a cap on it. And so I'm not positive where this clean out is. Um but you want to have a cap on it so items can't fall down in the in the line and clog it. Biggest thing I found with this line is it doesn't have very good grade. And so there's a lot of standing water. Um, you can start to see a little bit of it right here. Even that wasn't horrible. You'll see some areas where my camera goes completely underwater and that's what you don't want. Bear with me, my camera's cutting out a little bit. It has I'm up on the roof and it's started to glitch a little bit as it's real cold. So I'll pull it back real slow. The reason the reason you don't want standing water is that you want everything to drain out towards the city connection on its own. You don't want it to have to build up otherwise waste is going to sit in the line and that can create a, a blockage and that can cause a backup there we go Uh, and it's not like you had just one area with uh, some standing water. It was quite a bit of the line. You can see some waste sitting in the line there. That's what will happen. You'll get toilet paper and, and waste. And as it sits there, it'll build up and it can create a blockage. Like, this is not good. You have enough that I'm starting to go underwater. Also, if you look at the side of the line, all that build up, that tends to get worse uh, when you have standing water as opposed to having proper grade where everything drains out on its own. It's not a good sign when your tub is draining slowly. That could be related. It could mean that as you drain water out, it's filling up this line and uh, and then it's just backing up. There's another turn. Those turns are what make it hard to push all the way out to the city connection going through the roof and so once you go through a couple of those it gets harder and harder. I went through the roof stack today and so that's what we're coming back up the stack right now. I would recommend consulting with a drain company and uh, having them give you prices to repair that improper grade really the, the long-term permanent solution is to re-slope the drain line which means digging it up you know it's uh, nobody can tell you whether it's going to cause a backup 
but I can tell you that you're more likely to have a backup when you have improper grade like that. So I'm going to end this recording now.